Hello, this is Carolyn with Carolyn's Paper Therapy, and I have started a new project that I wanted to um, introduce to you today. Uh, it's just getting started, but I've had the idea in my head for quite a while. Uh, I'm using the Sunshine Farm collection from um, Shabby Art Boutique, and this is a beautiful kit that has uh, all kinds of uh, sunflowers and kitty cats and uh, farm uh, house and all kinds of farm type things, but it's all pastels and beautiful. And what I what I decided to do was this right here. I think I might be too close. Let me raise this up. What I did was um, I went to the elements file and printed out the. Um, back end of the truck. And I printed it out twice, so I'd have it on both sides. And then I printed a um, decorative sheet, a solid decorative sheet, and I glued it together and cut out both pieces. I wanted a heavier cover than just the cardstock. And my idea was to take the uh, half sheets, I cut out um, all, I printed out all of the uh, sheets that had two on a page. And instead of folding them like I usually do to make a journal, I cut out each side. And my plan is to have this work by flipping the pages up. And um, I came up with the idea for this kind of binding, which is you can use three rings or you could use any kind of binding, sew it or whatever you would want to do. But, uh, well, I guess it needs to be tied or um, the, the rings to, to flip properly. But this these come in a little, uh, it's, uh, they're all fastened together, a set of three rings. And I had used this on a project um, by a different designer, and I really liked the technique. And um, it it went from the side, but the truck seemed to it had a flat top, so it needed to go from the top. So uh, my idea with this was to um, uh, uh, decorate the top page or put pockets on there or something because you couldn't really write up there like you would in a journal. So the top pages will have a pocket or uh, tags or just be decorated with sayings and stuff. Uh, and the bottom part will be used for writing. Uh, what I did was um, um, these had to be rounded at the top in order for them to fit in here. So I'm gonna take this apart and show you uh, how I did that, and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, what I did was I had the, uh, the uh, truck here, and I wanted to kind of center the page behind it. And I couldn't um, just let that stick up like that. So what I did was, once I had it where I wanted it, I took the very first page and I took a pencil and I marked where I needed to cut it off. And then I also took the, the three ring um, item here and marked where I wanted the three holes punched. On this, I've already got this punched. So I marked the holes and I punched the holes on the truck. So then when I put the page behind it, I could mark where I need to trim it off and also mark where I needed the holes. And I just did each page like that. And I came back and uh, cut off this excess uh, just with my scissors. And then I took my hole punch and punched the three holes. So 
So this would be ready to put in uh, here with the other pages. I'm not gonna add another page. I have, uh, I believe there's 10 or 12 pages and that's plenty. But with this, you can close this up and then you can open it back, remove a page, add a page. Um, and when I'm working on this, I'll have the pages out and I'll add them in as I get them finished. So that was the process. Again, this is the elements file of this truck and it is already sized this size and I just printed it out and then printed a backing uh, on a separate piece of paper, glued them together so that this would be more sturdy. And I intend to make it even more sturdy by adding something all over this, uh, the back of this one and this one so that um, I'm hoping when I get done, it will be able to stand up and look kind of neat. So uh, this is what I've done to create this book. And I'm still trying to decide. Um, I really like the sunshine uh, factor of this kit. Um, it, it touches my heart. And uh, some of you already know this, but I, I had lost a little granddaughter, 17 months old, to cancer. And um, as a result of that, a few months later, um, I just had to do something in her memory that was significant. So um, I started the Sadie Sunshine chapter of Crochet for Cancer. And um, I called it Sunshine Shade Sadie because she always had a beautiful smile and uh, was just the sweetest little, little baby girl. And uh, so for years, seven, seven, eight years, I had volunteers from all over the country that sent me crocheted hats, um, little crocheted dolls, prayer cloths with a cross on them, all these kind of things that I gave, uh, sent out to uh, individuals and hospitals where children were treated, uh, treatment centers where adults were treated, uh, thousands of items I've taken to the Ronald McDonald House for the children there. Uh, my volunteers just couldn't crochet fast enough. So anyway, the Sunshine Farm uh, just made me think of Sadie. And so um, I want this to be a happy journal and I've found that a lot of times people are not writing uh, in the journal. They just like to look at it. So I'm thinking that this might be filled with sunshine sayings all the way through. And um, uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking is that I will do a lot of decorating. Uh, there will be happy, sunny sayings all the way through. And this will just be uh, like a gift book. Uh, with sayings about um, friends and and uh, all kinds of wonderful things. So um, that's where I am right now. If you want to make something like this, this is how it's done. I'm going to go back in here and uh, round the corners, make sure my pages are arranged in the order that I want them. Um, ink, ink the pages. I've already done the um, the farm. So we're gonna have the, um, the back end of this truck on both sides. I'd like to have a front and a back, but I don't have that. So we'll just do a back and a back. Um, this is gonna be a welcome to Sunshine Farm. And this is gonna be um, come back and visit Sunshine Farm. So, and the other thing I'm doing is um, I have started printing out and using my print and cut feature on my uh, Cricut to cut out all these little designs. And um, I've got a long way to go on these. I like to cut out as many as I can because it, it just adds to, enhances the journal. So I have some other uh, pages, uh, pocket pages and stuff like that to print out and then to do these with the Cricut. So it'll be a while before I get back to this, but I wanted to show you uh, how I was starting it and I thought you might uh, be interested to follow. 
uh, the progress on this. It won't be just one more video. It, I'll have two, three more videos showing what I'm doing in here and, um, and how it progresses. So I hope you'll come back and join me in this project. And maybe you'd like to make one of your own. Um, you might want to pick an element, another element from the files to do something similar to this. Um, there's a house in there. There's different things that you could use to make a journal uh, in this fashion, either from the side. If you had a house that was straight on the side, you might want to have it flipped this way. And these little three ring things are available on um, Amazon. And they just close and snap together, and then you can take them back apart. And the thing I liked about them was uh, if you just use separate rings, things kind of wobble around. And if you use this, uh, it stays put a little bit better. So um, I thank you for watching today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, remember, every day's a gift filled with sun and uh, sunshine and uh, happiness if you look for it. So um, if you find the joy in the day, be sure and pass it on to those you meet along the way. So uh, I'll be back before you know it. I'll see you soon.